There have been studies that have shown that employees on return to work programs return and heal quicker than employees that are not. It helps to give the employee a sense of purpose. Uh, it helps to support them psychologically through a rough time. You know, what's going to happen? How am I going to make money? What's going to happen to my job? HR is definitely somebody that should be involved with this. Training is, the training department is somebody that we need to get the skill set up for that employee. In our particular case, it really depends on how, what will it create. But in our particular case, they went to an accounts receivable position. So we have the accounts receivable manager involved. Other roles may vary and other come across. We had an employee that was out with an injury and they were home all day and they were very frustrated. Psychologically, they, they were not dealing with the injury well. They were used to keeping busy. They looked the type of person that attacked snow a lot. Um, and this had a very negative impact on them. And when we offered them the program, they were very excited to get back on work, doing something productive. It wasn't about the money to them, it was about being basically being a fart or something. You want to pick a role that is easy to train. That really is the key because it needs to be repeatable. Well, e to be able to give it to a wide group of people. The training of they need to be set up for success. So you have to make sure they're able to get the skill to do that job. Return to work programs can uh, reduce indemnity payments for the insurance company, ultimately reducing premiums. Also gives people back to work quicker and you know it has a profound impact on them the psychology, the mental health of the employee. And it's really important that when you create a return to work program that it's a temporary program. So uh, if you're gonna offer the role to them permanently, it's absolutely critical that that becomes a job offer that that come up. So yeah, you want to put limitations on how long the return to work program lasts, 90 or 180 days, whatever that may be. And also delineate how you would extend that program.